Hi viewers. I've been working on standard water electrolysis and I'm taking graphite pad which is conductive of course with graphite but I like the flexibility of it and I've been impregnating it uh, with materials such as haloisite nanotubular clay a gift from a quarry in Utah carbon black some exfoliated graphite for example and I'm using Dahmer gum resin in turpentine now I also do artwork so I know Dahmer it's been used for, in, for centuries by artists to varnish oil paintings and it's known to bond very nicely to materials such as graphite a lot of chemists may know it, but uh, artists know the aspects of use of Dahmer, and chemists may know the use of such gums. And the trick is to apply enough to get surface area enhancement, retain conductivity or enhance it, but not build up so much you get resistance. Now, what's interesting here uh, let me see if I can fish one out. These were not pyrolyzed, but you can see the beautiful deposition by hand on a rectangular sheet of graphite. And uh, I'm also coating uh, graph uh, graphite cylinders. So that has not been pyrolyzed but it adheres beautifully. I let the turpentine evaporate off. Here at school, I put it in the fume hood. And also, for water electrolysis, I included some silver one oxide, which will enhance oxygen evolution and at the anode. And thus, uh, we can get the water the oxygen in water to form oxygen gas. Now, later on, I'll worry about collecting. Um, I didn't even measure the electrode uh, surface area. The main thing is I have two of these treated in here, and it's been running for hours. And it started at 21 milliamps, 4.1 volts. It's been steady, and it has been increasing to 320, 330 milliamps. Now, the coloration you see here is presumably the silver one oxide, and, uh, but the actual uh, graphite electrodes have not been losing the surface material. Now, this was not pyrolyzed. Now, I will bring this up in my muffle furnace temperatures. Uh, Dahmer will decompose 200 Celsius and uh, it will form volatiles of course it will also under and uh, under anaerobic conditions uh, it will form uh, some resinous material and I'm hoping it will continue to bond to the graphite pad with uh, the composite materials and uh, I want to bring it up and test at temperatures of 250 up to 550 and uh, see if the conductivity increases as I bake off the Dahmer, which of course is an insulator, non-conductive. But I like how it's adhering, the application to the graphite uh, template, and uh, it's certainly functioning in electrolyzing the water here. And uh, I'll keep you posted on what we're finding. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.